They are two police chiefs. Law enforcement has always been a white male dominant profession. Who represent two sides of Florida. We're not hiring minority officers just so they can work in a minority community. But both share the same skin color. I've been in meetings and conferences, small conferences where it's not many people that look like me. And, and, and that's unfortunate. And the same battle because of it. When I'm wearing this uniform, they see me as one person. And when I take this uniform off, they see me as another person. St. Petersburg Police Chief Anthony Holloway and Delray Beach Police Chief Javaro Sims are among Florida's black police chiefs. In a state where 17% of its citizens are black, we found less than 10% of law enforcement officers patrolling the streets here are black, according to the latest demographic data kept by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. We do want to try to mirror our community, but again, is trying to find those qualified candidates. In St. Petersburg in the 1960s, a dozen black officers known as the Courageous 12 sued the city over unequal treatment and ultimately won. Today, with a city population that's 22 percent black, 15 percent of its police officers are black. But in Delray Beach, a smaller city, 31 percent of its population is black, yet just 13 percent of officers are black, according to the latest state data. Does that work for you? No, it doesn't work for me. We looked at a dozen Florida law enforcement departments with at least 100 white officers and found around the state the percentage of black officers can be two or three times lower than the percentage of black citizens they serve. These chiefs explain why. The way things that are going on right now, it's hard to find an African-American officer who wants to be a police officer. I think a lot of African-Americans specifically uh, shy away from law enforcement because of the stigma between law enforcement and the African-American community or the minority community in general. So you have to find a way to break down some of those barriers. Which for them means recruiting as early as high school at black colleges, job fairs, ads in minority magazines, and attending community events in minority neighborhoods. Chief Sims says since he became chief last year, more than 70% of his new officer hires are minorities, nine black. Yes, yeah, definitely a personal goal. A goal both recognize will be a challenge to reach as long as incidents, including Michael Brown and George Floyd, continue to happen. That African-American or that minority we hire, he or she really has to have thick skin. Katie Legrone, WSFL-TV.